Peace and love, Cancer, peace and love, and welcome to my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. This is going to be your reading for the month of April 2023. I do hope that this message finds you all in peace, love, and prosperity. Y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when the readings are posted on my channel. All right, let's see what Spirit has for you for the month of... I don't know, I just felt like I was starting to get a little dizzy, okay? So you could be feeling lightheaded, okay? You maybe need to drink more water. You have the Capricorn card coming out first, same as Gemini. So you need to be more disciplined. You have the, as soon as I said same as Gemini, you now have the Gemini card coming out. So you guys could be dealing with a Gemini or you could have Gemini highly aspected in your chart. Or this is telling me that Gemini season is going to be significant for you and Gemini season starts in May. And then you have Scorpio, all right? So you got three signs here. You have Capricorn, Gemini, and Scorpio. Capricorn is your, alt um, is your opposite sign, Cancer. It's your opposite, okay? It's your alter ego. I feel like you have goals, Cancer, but I feel like you're not being as disciplined as you can in terms of those goals, okay? I feel like you need to have better communication, not only with yourself, but with the universe in terms of what it is that you want, okay? I feel like your day-to-day -day reality is not in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing. Some of you are business owners or you're starting a business or thinking about starting a business, but you're not putting in the work like you need to, okay? I feel like some of you need to do more research. Some of you need to put in more work, okay? You need to get your paperwork in order. You need to be more organized, all that good stuff. Then you have the um, Scorpio card. It says the extraordinary power, power of prayer, the highest and lowest aspect of control. So I feel like you do need also need to practice some form of self-control. Some of you may have a addiction, okay? And whatever this addiction is, it's distracting you. And it doesn't have to be drugs or food. It could be being lazy, laying in the bed, you know, watching TV, scrolling on your phone. But it's something, Cancer, that is distracting you from what it is that you're supposed to be doing, okay? And with this Gemini card here, Gemini also rules the mind, okay? So I am definitely feeling as if, okay, so I'm definitely feeling as if you need to use your logical mind, okay? I feel like you need to focus on intellect, okay, this month, not your emotions. You may be coming out of a bad place and it's hard for you to stay focused, but I feel like you need to leave your emotions behind this month and you need to really focus on what it is that you're supposed to be doing because I have a feeling that you're getting behind, okay? And this Scorpio gives me the energy of transformation, okay? So you're meant to transform in the month of April, okay? We do have a Mercury retrograde coming up on April 21st and Mercury rules Gemini, okay? So I feel like the longer you wait, the harder it's gonna get because I do feel like the end of the month is going to be very heavy on you. Yeah, split the deck and you got the tower card here. Life experience. So something unexpected is bound to happen for you this month, Cancer. It doesn't have to be bad. It could be something unexpectedly um, happening that's good. But it, it all depends on the work that you are putting in. That's too many cards. All right, so you have the nine of winter here. It says unfounded fear, focusing on the worst case scenario, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. So yeah, low vibrational energy this month. 
that you need you need to get away from your emotions cancer i've said that okay you cannot let those emotions weigh you down okay they're not real they're not real and you have to find a way to get them out of your head you have the star card it's funny because you have two of the same cards that gemini has so you might want to listen to the gemini reading all right but the star card says look to the future with hope and optimism the power of faith to move mountains you have to believe in yourself a lot more than what you actually do gemini believe in yourself because i don't believe that you believe in the things that you're asking for so you need to have more faith all right the queen of winter here this is you it says let go of people and things that no longer serve you now is the time to focus on your career okay some of you have recently gone through a divorce okay the queen of winter is the separation or divorce card and some of you have recently gone through a divorce and that whole process weighed very heavy on you okay and i feel like you're still trying to heal you're still trying to understand why you attracted that relationship in the first place you're still trying to understand the lessons and then you still have your everyday jobs your children your work your stresses your emotions and it's like it's a lot i'm not gonna lie i, I see it being a lot okay but i feel as if you need to find a way to be strong and pull yourself out of that energy, okay? And focus on your goals because time is passing by. And I saw the tower card in the other deck and then now look. So something unexpected is gonna happen possibly on the 17th of the month, okay? Tower card again, bottom of the deck. But I feel like you need to focus on your goals because time is moving by. Every Each day is passing by. Yeah, this is definitely a love situation that still stings a little bit, okay? You could be trying, trying to move past a divorce or a separation. And then you could also be missing someone that you're in love, currently in love with either or, okay? Yeah, look at that. The Hermit card and the Justice card. I told y'all. This definitely is a divorce, okay? And the hermit card is the spiritual awakening that like this month, there is a lot of solitude that is needed. You don't need to be going out. You don't need to be doing nothing. You need to be at home working on yourself and working on your goals, okay? You need to stay home with the hermit card. There's a lot of lessons, okay? Someone's definitely getting karma for what they did to you, okay? Someone who you once loved, okay? They're definitely getting karma because something's not right in this whole spread. But Cancer, I definitely feel as if someone just got divorced or someone is going through a divorce right now, okay? And the bottom of the deck, the high priestess card, okay? So some of you are very high spiritually ranked, okay? And someone fucked with the wrong person, okay? You had to cut them off, okay? Because they they had too many issues and they didn't know how to treat you. But now I feel like you're at a crossroads. You've cut this person off, but now it's like, where do I go from here? What do I do with my new life, okay? And Spirit is saying you have patience and you let things come to you day by day. Don't try to rush it, okay? Focus on your goals. And let you, you got to become the minimalist you got to let some things go cancer because you got too much on your plate right now and you have to let some things go yeah you and this person the five of wands you and this person fought okay fought there was conflict y'all didn't even get along okay no wonder you got a divorce because y'all didn't even get along okay and this person's still trying to come against you okay you might need to protect yourself because this person's still in the five of wands energy okay some of y'all could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but this person don't want to see you happy at all, okay? And if you're wondering why your energy low vibrational, it's probably because they're sending you negative energy. This person does not want to see you happy. They want to see you conflicted, okay? Yeah. Two of Wands. You have Two of Wands and Two of Swords. You need to be planning. The Two of Wands is the card of planning, Okay? You need to be planning for your future and moving past whatever happened with this person or whatever happened in the past. 
Yep, Leo card here. There's a war. Someone is at war with you. Now, you may not be at war with them, Cancer, but they are at war with you. Look at the cards, the strength card, the justice card, the five of wands here, okay? The two of swords here, okay? Someone is at they Someone wants war, okay? And they may be playing in your face and pretending like everything is good. Mm -mm, don't trust them. This person is secretly trying to sabotage you behind your back, okay? They want to see you fail. They want to see you suffer. I don't know what this is, um, Cancer, but don't trust them. Don't trust them. And you might want to listen to the Gemini reading too, but do not trust this person, okay? That's what I have for you for April. Peace.